Here's a couple of examples of what we call changeable neon. These signs are um, from the 40s, early 50s. Uh, this sign here pretty much works like ordinary neon. If, if you watch, I can pull the letter out, change the letters, drop this back in, and the sign goes back on. The, the reason why it, this half of the sign goes off when I pull a letter out is because all of these letters are wired in a series. When I pull this out, it's like I interrupted the circuit or I cut the wire. So they had these, these little U-shaped um, pieces of glass. And if I show you up here, I think maybe you can see the little wire in there. This is like a jump wire that, that completes a series. It connects the rest of the letters together. But these signs were um, used probably on a countertop inside or, or more likely in a storefront window where they could advertise one day they could say sale on men's shoes, the next day they could say uh, sale on women's dresses, etc. Uh, you would not be allowed to have these signs today. They could not be listed by underwriters laboratories. Now the one on the top is also a changeable neon, but it, it works with a different technology. It works by RF or radio frequency. There's actually two radio tubes in a cabinet behind this panel. And you can see when I pull the letter out, it goes off, and as I get closer, it starts to go on. Uh, radio frequency is, is kind of like if you've ever gone underneath a power line, and you probably haven't done this, but you might want to try it. Take a fluorescent lamp with you, Hold the lamp up in the air underneath the power line, and the fluorescent lamp will actually light up. Now, it's not going to hurt you at all. It's, it's just the electrical field created by the power line lights up that fluorescent lamp. So it's kind of the same idea.